juicy AI SEO story for you here. We went from zero to 187 clicks automated with AI. I'm going to break down the whole process today. This is a brand new domain, DR0, no authority. And literally in just a few weeks, it went from a measly few clicks a day to 187 SEO traffic. And in this video, I'm going to show you the exact AI tools we're using to do this, a step-by-step -step content creation process, how to optimize for SEO and the simple framework that ties it all together. Let's get straight into it. So here is the website, Oil Therapy Central, as you can see right here. And they have grown from zero clicks a day up to 87 clicks a day. And that seems to be increasing over time, as you can see, very positive trajectory, particularly after the Google Core update. So you can see Google Core update was released on August the 15th, 2024. And since then, the traffic has grown to 187 clicks a day. Pretty wild if you ask me. You can see some of the keywords that it's ranking for over here. So here's an example of one of the top ranking pages, essential oils to attract bears. And all of the content on this website was generated with AI. So it's a super interesting case study. You can see overall it's had 2,000 clicks and this is a brand new domain DR0. Now you might be asking, okay, at this point, how do you create the content? The website that we've got right here was generated with auto blogging AI. And so what you can actually do is they've got this intense article section over here. And so you can put the title, you can paste in the HTML, insert the keywords. Another option that they actually have is the AI proofreader, which I'll come on to in a minute. So for this website, we actually use this framework right here. I'll give you access at the end of the video. And basically just comes down to picking the right niche as I've shown you. And basically what you would do is find hundred question based keywords, create the website from scratch, cluster the keywords with chat GPT, which I've actually included inside this prompt and then edit the content and publish it. So it's a very simple process, create, draft, edit, launch, right? Four simple steps. Now I know a lot of people were asking me from the YouTube comments, like how do you speed up the editing process for websites like this? So what you can actually do is use this proofreader option from autoblogging. I've never tried this before, but we'll see how that goes. We'll plug that into the proof reading guidelines, as you can see right here. Then we'll just take a random example from the website. Let's go on the sitemap and we'll take an example, like grab all the HTML. We'll go into the proofreader, plug that HTML in here, and then we'll put the title, optimize the article and see what happens next. And you can see it's going to take about two to five minutes to proofread the article, as you can see right here, and that is pending. So just coming back to the strategy, you would find 50 easy keywords, generate the content with auto blogging, draft it in WordPress, edit it. You can use the proofreader that I've shown you previously, plus the SEO checklist that I've given you access to. And then from there, you've got a quality controlled process. You've got a quality controlled website. It's not AI spam because you're creating this in the most quality controlled way possible. And you're spending a decent amount of time per article, just editing it. But when it actually comes to the keyword research, which you can see right here, you can use just a free tool, like for example, answerthepublic.com, a random keyword. So for example, you can just plug in your keyword, like lawyers for, let's say you're in the legal niche and we've got a bunch of keyword ideas like this, right? We know what people are searching for based on the data within answerthepublic.com. And if we scroll down, you can see that it's actually done the Google alphabet soup method. So it's actually found 337 alphabetical results for lawyers for. So for example, lawyers for accidents in the A section, accident claims, animals, auto accidents, etc. So what we can do from here is, and bear in mind, this is just on the free version. We can take all the question based keywords from that, plug them into chat GPT and using the prompt inside the document, we can cluster these quickly. So we can say cluster these keywords into categories and pages, keep them semantically relevant and remove anything that's stupid with search intent, plus clean up the data. Easiest way to get a lot of free keyword research in one go, as you can see right here. So for example, personal injury lawyers. And then it's given us all the questions from the relevant topic, criminal defense lawyers, bunch of ideas right here. And it basically does the whole thing for us. And then what we can do is use that to generate the content. I actually wouldn't recommend using AI content for the legal niche because obviously AI can hallucinate and in the legal niche, you want to get that perfect, but it's just an example of like how easy it is to do to find the keyword research from there, go into quick mode, bulk generate and generate the content that you want to. The other thing that you can do is you can go, there's a new section called intense article and you can basically plug in semantically relevant keywords into this section. You can take your existing articles, HTML and plug it right here. 
and then generate the content. Why would we want to do that? Because we can just optimize the content better using the relevant LSIs and entities that we can insert right here. As right here from the source code, if you're not sure how to do that, just press Option Command and U if you're on a Mac. And then from here, we can plug the article HTML directly into the article and HTML format section. We can take the title from the article. And then for the keywords, if you really want to intensely optimize the article, we can take some example keywords from a tool like Neuron Writer or Phrase.io or whatever you want. We'll go for a new query. So let's put this query, which is the title of the article. And basically what we're trying to do here is take the recommendations from whatever article optimizer tool you have, whatever keywords and LSIs it recommends, and then plug that into the intense article optimizer to just boost it up a notch in terms of SEO optimization. So for example, we can reverse engineer who's already ranking for the keyword that we want to target, take the most relevant options, copy all the visible terms, for example, the LSIs of keywords, go into intense article optimizer, optimize article, takes a couple more credits, but it just boosts your content optimization up a notch, something to experiment with, and it's worth testing. And then if we go to the history section, intense optimize articles, you will find the details of the article right here. You can see it's already generated, which is great. So if we click on preview right here, we can see that the content is re-optimized based on the keywords inserted. And then again, from there, you can just quality control it using this quality control process. Now we've covered quite a lot there. So I want to just re-outline the steps that we've used. So number one, get your keyword research. You can use Ahrefs or question-based keywords, or you can use something like people also ask. Then from there to achieve results like this, we launched a new domain. After that, create the content, 50 edited, optimized articles. You can use a workflow like NeuronWriter, Surfer SEO or Phrase or whatever tool you want to use. They're all very similar to me. Take the LSIs and the keywords and the entities and then plug them into the intense optimized section of to generate. And finally, edit the content using the quality control process. And from there, you can re-optimize the content. Now you might be wondering, okay, what do the outputs before and after look like for this article? So let's take a look and we can compare them side by side. Now, again, this article is going to require some editing, but here is the re-optimized article and here is the original article. And so for example, if we read the first line here, it's much shorter and straight to the point. Whereas if we read the first paragraph of this article, it includes keyword essential oils. And then it talks about lavender, peppermint, eucalyptus, etc. which as you can see right here on the keyword list are all relevant topics from NeuronWriter is suggested to make our content more optimized and contextually relevant, right? So basically what it's doing is going, we've got this content, we're going to re-optimize it for search engines so that it includes more contextually relevant keywords, entities, LSIs, etc. Why? Because then when Google indexes it, it's better optimized. I think this would be really good for just boosting a page. And then of course, after you've done that, you would just use the quality control blueprint, which I've given you access to. Now, when I showed this case study last time and a bunch of other AI SEO case studies, I got a bunch of questions, which you can see inside the comment section right here. And so what I wanted to do today was just quickly answer those so that I can help you. And probably a lot of people watching this will have similar questions. So for example, Coco says, what's the process after the first 50 articles? How many should you do per day after that? What I would say with this process, right, is it's a relatively new domain. So the first thing you want to check is all of your content actually being indexed and then is all of it being ranked. If it's not being indexed, aka you create some content, it's not being ranked, you can search by any time. So you could look over the last week or the last month from when you created that content. If it's not being indexed on Google, stop creating more content and focus on getting that content indexed. Because obviously if Google is not crawling or assigning crawl budget to your website, there's a high chance that you're not gonna rank and all the new content that you create as well is gonna have the same sort of indexing problems. So I would start very slowly with a brand new domain. If it is a well-established domain for example, let's take an extreme example like Forbes.com. Forbes.com, they can publish hundreds of articles every single day and still have zero indexing problems. So if we look over the past week, for example, you can see that Forbes are updating hundreds of pages. All of that is getting re-indexed because it's an established site with a lot of authority. So that's basically the process. Start slow, check its indexing. Then after that, check its ranking and warm up from there. 
Another question we got asked was like, for example, I posted 60 articles on a site over three weeks, all with a 0% AI score, which I don't think necessarily correlates to traffic or rankings at all. It just depends on your risk tolerance over time. And he also says, and I post daily, shouldn't this give me some topical authority? The thing is, there's a big difference between posting a lot of content and actually having topical authority, two totally separate things. This is why I always recommend quality control in your content because it doesn't matter how much content you produce if it's all trash. Now I'm not saying the content that Coco produced is bad, but I'm saying if it's not ranking and if you're having indexing problems and if you don't seem to have any authority in the eyes of Google, then something either needs to improve. It might be that you need to produce more backlinks. It might be that you need to go after easier keywords, or it might be that you need to improve the quality of your content. Now this SEO checklist covers everything, keywords, content, backlinks, so that you can get similar results to this. Because for example, if I produce a lot of content, that doesn't necessarily mean that I have topical authority. If I have loads of spammy content, then I've just got topical relevance, but I don't have topical authority as in, I don't have a lot of authority in the eyes of Google. My content isn't very good, right? How do we dictate if it's good or not? Because Google decides whether it ranks your content or not. If it's not ranking your content, it obviously doesn't see you as authoritative and therefore something needs to improve in your website and your SEO strategy. Ecom website tips says, can you make this website series on how to find keywords and how to monetize, right? Inside the Goldie SEO framework, I actually talk about multiple ways that you can monetize. So for example, you could use ads, you could use affiliate links, you could create info products, coaching programs, communities, etc. As an example of that, I do all of these, right? So for example, I have the SEO boardroom community, which is a private paid community. I have an info product on link building. I monetize my YouTube channel with ads. And then additionally, I have my service for link building, right? Feel free to book in a free SEO strategy session about that. And so what I'm trying to say here is like when you're monetizing your website, there are many different ways you can do it. And it's all covered within the SEO framework. Now, additionally, I also have an SAP on how to monetize your website in one single click using ads. So if you want the gold SEO framework, it's inside the SAP. If you want the one click ads SAP, it's inside here as well. And I've got documents and SAPs on exactly how to do everything. Jaden says, nice one. Now that Google has released AI overviews globally, we can all continue to use AI responsibly. That's what it's about as well. That's why I give the quality control checklist. That's why I have multiple quality control modules inside my free course so that you're not creating spam, but you're creating something that's a really high quality product when it comes to publishing your content. The more you value your brand, the more quality control has to come onto the final content. Peter says, could you create a done for you website with about 50 articles in a local niche? What the cost for that? Where can I outsource that? If you want to learn more about that, feel free to book in a free SEO strategy session. Links in the comments and description and we can handle that for you and answer any questions that you have one-to-one -one on the call. Someone else, an SWD asks, where can you get the checklist? So if you want to get free access to this checklist with the SEO framework, the quality control checklist, the ads SAP, etc., I'll include that inside my free course. Links in the comments and description. And once you are logged into the free SEO course, scroll down to the Goldie SEO framework and it's inside the module called 0 to 187. 0 to 187 SEO. And the video notes are directly inside there. Another question I got asked from Johnny9 was, I got a question on you winning SERPs positions. You use a lot of websites like X, LinkedIn, Medium to get SERP positions on the first page. But if it's not your site, you don't get ad revenue or affiliate revenue. So what's the benefit of winning those positions? Just making your brand bigger, putting your name everywhere. Or are you earning monetary using these methods? Example, the main thing for this is, right, the more people that know about you, if we take a keyword that I'm ranking, for example, like perplexity AI SEO strategies, you can see my video ranking there, my LinkedIn articles, my Medium article, etc. right? And so the benefit of ranking for this particular keyword is that people who are interested in this particular topic will be interested in hiring my agency for doing SEO for them. And so the more people that know about my stuff, the more likely we are to get customers who are going to buy from us. Pretty simple stuff. And so this is just a form of advertising where we create content, we rank it with SEO. For example, like my YouTube channel has had over three and a half million SEO traffic alone. And then using this process, people will DM us, they'll book in free calls, they might buy our community, they might sign up to our coaching program, etc. And so that's the benefit of it. Realistically, if you look in the grand scheme of things, making money with ads is like the lowest leverage thing you can do, right? Because it's a lot of work and a lot of traffic required to make a decent amount of money. Whereas for example, if you sell a service, you might land one customer, but that one customer is worth like 12,000 to 20,000 dollars a year. And so that's what the game, and it's not about how much traffic you get or how much ad revenue you get, it's about how do you monetize that traffic. And this, the better you are at monetizing traffic, the more money you're gonna make. 
Tess says, I love that you only show what's working for you. So many SEOs on YouTube recommend stuff that they don't even try or have case studies for. And that's the thing, like I'm happy to show this stuff directly on YouTube. I don't mind sharing it. I know it's gonna get de-indexed for being a public case study. I know it's gonna be targeted for being so public. That's just the cost of the game, right? But if it helps someone out there make more money, put food on the table for their family, generate income or inspire you, then that's what this content is about. Golda Rabana says, I was thinking about starting a site but using a topical map rather than question related keywords. Is this a good idea or should I go for question related keywords? The one thing that you have to be careful of when it comes to topical maps is that some of these keywords will not even have any search volume and there's no point creating the page. So what I would recommend doing is you get a topical map but you check the search volume for each keyword to make sure people are searching for it in some way, right? And even if the traffic is super low, you can create a page for it. But if you create a top one map, and I'll include this top one map SAP inside the video notes from today, you definitely want to verify that any recommendations you get from ChatGPT, whether they're semantically relevant or not to your niche, are still things actually being searched for. If people are not searching for that keyword, nobody's going to find it. If nobody's going to find it, it's a waste of time creating that content. So thanks so much for watching. I've shown you how to get the video notes from today if you want to get access to everything that we've done, including the blueprint for going from zero to 187 clicks per day, which you can see is rising. And I will keep you updated on the case studies just to showcase what's going on. And if you want to get a free SEO strategy session on how to get more leads, traffic and sales with SEO, feel free to book in. Appreciate you watching as always. Links in the comments and description to this. We'll show you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 visits this month and generate thousands of dollars in sales. You get a free domination plan on how to get more leads, traffic and sales. We'll answer any questions that you have and you'll learn the best strategies for ranking with SEO. Feel free to book that in. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.